Hey, Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. Today we're gonna to be talking about the proper way to remove the decals on our camper. Now, this is a super easy thing to do at home. It requires a little patience. I'll show you the industry secret so you can try this yourself. But every year, several people come to see me to pay me to take the decals off their camper. I promise you this is something that with a little bit of patience, you can do yourself. So let's check it out. So to do this job really only requires a couple simple tools, but some of them are essential. The first one is a plastic razor. Now I will include a link to these in my description. You've seen me use these on other things. It's a very useful tool. I can scratch as hard as I want and I'm not gonna scratch the camper. It's also just about as sharp as a metal razor blade. Now I think a lifetime supply of these costs like $9.99. So the drop down arrow below my video with the description is going to include the links to these. I also use WD-40 and sometimes I use Gooby Gone and this thing has probably lasted me about a decade. Now you're going to need some heat source. You can use a hair dryer and it works just fine. If you're doing it a lot, a cordless uh, heat gun works exceptionally well. And then I like to use either an old t-shirt or these disposable Scott's towels. They're a little bit more rugged than a paper towel and that's gonna help us out. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply some even heat over the decal. Now, if I'm working with something large, I'm just gonna break off a small section at a time. But for here, I'm gonna take on this whole little Braxton Creek thing and get rid of it. Now, one trick, if you park your camper in the sun, it's gonna do most of this work for you. Once it's hot to the touch, but you're not burning the decals, that's the spot you wanna be. With a hair dryer, it might take a little longer than with the heat gun. Everything that doesn't come off in the first pass, I'm going to apply a little bit more heat. Now, people take hours to do this, picking it with their fingernails and doing different stuff. The first thing I do with this razor is just get most of the outside decal off. Now I'm gonna treat the adhesive. Little bit of a spray of WD-40 in this rag. Now once I've applied a little bit of elbow grease, I'm gonna use a new razor or turn the razor around and take my time and remove some of this soft material. Close up. And just like that, I'm done in just a matter of minutes. I'm gonna take on the bigger decals now, but I'm gonna say up front that the sooner you do this, the better. If your trailer is a couple years old, you might find that there's actually a little bit of sun damage where it's kind of bleached out around your decal. If that's the case, go to an automotive store and get some of the fine compound, some of the polishing compound with just a little bit of grit in it, 
And if you rub around that area, especially if you go with the grain of your metal that you could see up close, that'll fade right out and blend back in. Now, sometimes these bigger decals are easier. Sometimes they're harder. It's a slightly different technique than the smaller ones. I'm gonna apply heat to one of these letters and I'm actually gonna try to lift it with the razor. I'll take my time and try to peel it off as much as I can in one piece. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now it's pretty hot to the touch, but nothing's smoking. I'm not burning these things off. I get a little bit to work with here. Yeah, I lost a piece there. Sometimes you can come back underneath. It's pretty easy to tell like that when I, when I lose my ability to peel that it's time for more heat. Now I'm gonna finish the rest of this. I'm gonna come back with the WD-40 and those same techniques. I get a good soak with the WD-40, let it soften the adhesive, I get a sharper, you know, fresh blade, and I just work the rest of that adhesive off with a rag. If I have a spot that seems to be acting up a little bit, sometimes I try the goo gone just to, you know, throw a different angle at it. If I notice after the camper's being used a couple times that you can see the silhouette and dirt, um, I'll come back over it again or even switch to the compound. Now. Okay, so it took about 15 minutes to do the galley. Um, that's not so bad. Uh, every once in a while, I'll come back and find a little bit more glue to scrape off with the razor. But if you have any of that sun damage, remember to use some of that buffing compound that you find in automotive stores, and you'll blend all this paint back together. So uh, I'm gonna find a custom decal for this now. Make sure you like and subscribe. Throw me a comment if you have a different technique that works just as good or better. So thank you as always, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.